I'll be showing eight new features in the Edge browser. This includes Copilot integration with free GPT-4 and Dolly 3, split screen, Edge VPN, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is that Copilot is built right into the Edge browser. I'm gonna to switch to a blog site that I have open right here. And in the upper right, you're gonna see this little blue and green Copilot icon. And I'm gonna click this to open Copilot. Now this is the same Copilot that you see in the main copilot.microsoft.com. It's just a little compact version. You'll notice things like more precise here, more balanced, and more creative. Now a reminder for folks, more creative mode here is free GPT-4 and Dolly 3 baked right in. So you don't have to pay 20 bucks a month for chat GPT plus. You get the full power GPT-4 right here in the Edge browser when you're using creative mode and you also get Dolly 3 to create images. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is set this to more precise mode because I'm gonna ask some questions about this web page using Copilot. I'm gonna do generate page summary, that's a simple one. And Copilot down here is going to look across the page and then generate a summary for me. Okay, it made a nice summary. And what's kind of cool is you get the little sources right here and you can see exactly where these references came from. You also can do the thumbs up and thumbs down if you like or dislike it. The other nice thing is we've added read aloud. So I'm gonna read this out loud. Certainly. Here's a summary of the key points from the Microsoft Education blog article. AI integration- so it's a really nice text-to-speech, neural text-to-speech actually, read aloud of what was written there. So that's great for accessibility. I can also go up here and I'm gonna say, suggest questions about this document to ask Copilot. So we'll click that. And now it's gonna say, what are some good questions you might wanna ask about this website? Okay, nice set of questions. I'll ask about personalized learning, ask about lesson planning, a bunch of questions that I could ask Copilot to learn more about this blog entry. Another new feature is you have screen clipping baked right into Copilot. So I'm gonna scroll down here and we're gonna go a little inception. I'm gonna click this screenshot button there. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna trace a square right around this co-pilot image. Let go, you can add some things to it right here, but I'm just gonna say keep and done. And it pops the image right there. And now I'm gonna ask, please describe this image. And there's a little microphone. I'm gonna use speech to text and click this. Please describe what is in this image. And then I'll just hit submit. So it's gonna describe what is in this image about Copilot. Copilot's gonna analyze itself. Okay, it says the image you've uploaded appears to be a screenshot of the Copilot interface. Correct, and it gives lots of information. It even describes the interface that it found in the image. So that is pretty cool. A couple of other capabilities. If I wanna start a new topic, I just click new topic. It sweeps it all away. I can go to creative mode. I can use Dolly 3. I can create images here all those other great things. You also have that little image carousel right here if we wanna scroll. Also, if you have Copilot for M365, now that's our paid offering, if you switch to work, it's gonna switch Copilot into our work mode. So this is Copilot for M365. If I have things like emails or chats or documents, I can do that, my internal network. I'll switch back to web right here. And also, you've got a couple options. You can snooze notifications right up there. You can pop out if you want. If you wanna pop this fully open into a new tab, you can do that. There is the full on Copilot. We're gonna close this. A final note, I'm signed in with my corporate account so you can see I'm in Copilot with data protection and it says protected right here. If I was using a consumer account, I would not get that special Copilot with data protection. So I'm in the safe and secure mode with my corporate account. The second new feature is Compose and I will click here to switch into Compose mode. This lets you use generative AI to create writing. So I can give examples about what to write about. I can choose a tone. I can even choose the different formats, the length, and I get a preview right down here. So let's write about TPS reports. Okay, because it's in a tech, we wanna keep it professional. We're gonna make the format, oh, let's just say it's gonna be for an email, and we're gonna make it a short one. And I'm gonna generate a draft. And now it's gonna start generating. Oh, this looks perfect. TPS report submission, dear team, please find the attached TPS reports for this week and complete with the new cover sheets as per the latest directive. And I'll of course put in my name, Bill Lumberg. 
Now I can even have a conversation. I love that movie. What's your favorite scene? You can easily use this to generate different types of writing and compose and you can regenerate. You can make LinkedIn posts. You can make summaries, reports like a TPS report. You get the idea. So you've got a nice little writing helper right here in Edge on the Compose tab of Copilot. The third new feature is video summary in Copilot, video highlights. This is quite cool. Right here, I've got my AI and education video open and I'm gonna ask Copilot to summarize this and give me the top highlights. This is a 30 minute video. I'm not gonna watch that whole thing. Can you summarize and give highlights of this video and include timestamps? Hit submit. Okay, let's check it out. Here's a video summary. It gives a nice little summary there. The intro, and it has the different timestamps right here, which is really slick. Microsoft Copilot features, Copilot integration in different applications, and a whole lot more. So I've gotten all the video summaries right there with timestamps. I can do that with any video. So Edge is great for giving you those summaries and timestamps as you're watching YouTube or some other videos like Vimeo also works as well. The fourth new feature is the Ask Copilot button for any PDF that you have open in Edge. I've got a 30 plus page PDF right here and I want to ask some questions with Copilot. So I just click this button right here, the Copilot pane opens and now down at the bottom I can ask it anything. I'll switch to more precise mode. This is useful for fact finding and we're going to ask it to summarize the top five points in this PDF and we'll hit submit. Okay, there are the top five points and it cites and sources where it even found it in that PDF. I can ask lots of other questions right here below with these little pills that pop up, but you get the idea. The Ask Copilot button is just a very handy way when you're looking at a PDF, just say Ask Copilot, Copilot pops up an edge, and you can ask all the questions you want. The fifth new feature is the ability to translate any content in the Edge browser when you have a PDF open and you can read aloud. So I'm gonna select some text right here and there's this translate button and I'm gonna click this. It opens up the translate pane and it has the default language, it's detected, English. Maybe I wanna translate this to Norwegian and instantly it is translated right there. And if I wanna edit that or edit this, I can. Now I'll just click the read aloud button for Norwegian. I can translate to other languages. Let's say I wanna go down and choose Spanish. I'll choose that. Very quick translation, and then just read aloud. Nivelar el campo de juego con Microsoft Learning Tools. Pretty slick. If you want to copy the text, just click here, and you copy it to the clipboard, and you can paste that somewhere else. So really quick and easy, translate and read aloud for any PDF that you have open in Edge. The sixth new feature is split screen. So right here, there's this little icon, a little split icon with a window, and this is going to allow me to very easily split my screen. So I'll click this and on the left, it puts that blog and then you can choose other tabs that you've opened on the right. So if I had a whole bunch of tabs here, I could just choose one. Let's say I'm doing a research document. I'll click this and now my Word document is right here on the right and this blog is on the left and it's all in one tab right here. And you can see how it's kind of split right here. What's really cool is I can click and drag this image and let go. Bang, it just drops it right there in the Word document. So that's really easy, you know, if I want to go here and copy text and paste it there. So really easy to do all sorts of split screen work. And it doesn't have to be a Word document. It can be multiple blogs or different sites, whatever you want to do. And then when you're done, you just go over here and click split screen and it's going to pop that back. And I've got my two tabs right there again. The seventh new feature is screenshot in Edge. It's also been renamed. It used to be called Web Capture. I've got an image right here and I will go to the three dot menu and I want to take a screenshot. Right here you're going to see screenshot. I could also use the shortcut key control shift S but I'll just click screenshot and now I can capture the full page or just a certain area. So I'm going to go right here and draw the square over the area that I want. Let go. Now I can copy this, save it, mark it up or do a visual search. I'm just going to copy and now I'm going to go somewhere else and paste that image. Okay, I'm here in OneNote and I'll just do Control V and there's the image, so super quick and easy. The eighth new feature is a VPN or Virtual Private Network built into the Edge browser. I'm gonna go here to the three dot menu and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna choose Browser Essentials. This opens up the Browser Essentials tab and you've got lots of great things. I've talked about some of these features in the past with performance and safety. 
Here's the new one, the Microsoft Edge Secure Network, and this is in preview right now. I can help secure my connection from online hackers and some of the other benefits. So I'm gonna say get VPN for free right here. All right, and now I'm gonna say always use VPN for this site as well. So it says automatically uses VPN for public Wi-Fi, insecure sites, and more. And there's more details right here if you wanna go into settings to manage it, you can explore there. But now I've got my little VPN enabled for the Microsoft Edge Secure Network. On the three dot menu, there's a couple other options. You can go here if I wanna launch manage secure settings. So right here in settings, you can see, you can either select the sites you can optimize it and let Edge do this for you, or you can say do all sites. So lots of options. You can even manage secure sites and go specifically right here. This is the one that I chose just now. You can add more sites. You can say never use secure on these sites. Lots of different options, but I'm gonna leave this one on optimized and I am VPNing myself along. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.